This video will pick up where we left off on the previous one, uh, and I'll show you how to do data-defined uh, label positioning in QGIS. The idea is that um, instead of having the software manually place our labels from now on, we're going to assign a fixed position to each label, and this will allow us to make manual tweaks to, uh, to what we got with the automatic labeling uh, to get better placement. So the first part of this is to go back to the previous video if you didn't and make sure you watch that one to understand how to get the best possible automated placement. We got pretty close here. We've got a lot of these labels in the center of the country and now we're going to improve on that a bit. Um, what we need to do is look at our data first. Let's go to the attribute table and we'll try to figure out um, we need to find a field that's uh, got a unique value for each record that we can use. I'm going to use this sovereignty field because here for Africa each polygon has a different uh, sovereignty value in this uh, showing what country it belongs to. Um, uh, the next thing we're going to do is open uh, the label options here and down where it uh, we're on the positioning or placement tab here and down where it says data defined we're going to change the x and y coordinates to be pointing at that uh, sovereignty field we're going to say to store the data in the project it's going to keep its own table of values but it's going to join them with each record using uh, the sovereignty field so that's that's what that field was for so we'll go through the same process for both x and y and uh, now we'll do the same with rotation so just to store data in the project for each of these three um, and now we've got some additional options with these buttons up here for example if we wanted to move a label now we just click this button um, we click the label and we can drag it so we could do a little bit of cleanup to move these labels outside their countries into the ocean where we've got a little more space to work with uh, we can also change other properties of the label like the rotation so uh, Madagascar the label is uh, colliding with the edges of the island but if we were to choose rotate and then just drag our mouse around uh, we could rotate the label like this to get a better fit another thing you can do here is choose to uh, change the label so you click this and we could do something like change the label size so maybe I want to reduce the size of this label a little bit uh, for Burkina Faso I just had to kind of double click it there uh, you might have to fuss with it a bit but it eventually worked uh, when I double clicked it just right um, I've got nine point font on here right now so maybe I want to reduce the size to be seven and uh, if I apply that click OK I can see this label has been made a little smaller so I can I can deal with it um, and finally you might want to change the text now you got to be careful because this will actually change the text in your data set but if you highlight the layer and click the pencil uh, this has been abbreviated to W Sahara and we could change it back to Western uh, Sahara if we wanted the full thing and then we can move that label uh, so it's out over here for example this is a very difficult one to label we might not be able to get around uh, having a conflict but the idea is to reduce conflict between the label and boundaries and other labels as much as possible um, so it could take quite a bit of work here uh, moving all these labels around uh, this one uh, probably have to rotate a few of them other ones you just might have to move out of the way this one's so difficult to move out of the way that we might need to uh, add what's called a leader line which is a little line connecting the label and the polygon and so I'll show how to do that in the next video Make sure when you're done um, to go ahead and save your edits here. So you've got to click Save Layer Edits and then save your project on a regular basis as well uh, to make these changes permanent.